In this video, you will learn how to make a frozen effect in Photoshop. First, open your image in Photoshop. Make a selection around the subject by going to Select, Select and Mask. Click the Select Subject button and fix the selection if you need to. Then select Output to New Layer with Layer Mask and click OK. Convert the first layer to a smart object and change its name to background. Change the second layer name to subject and convert to smart object as well. Now add a mask for the background layer. Then press and hold the control key while clicking the subject layer icon. Then click the background layer mask. Make sure the foreground color is black and press the alt and backspace at the same time. Press Ctrl D to remove the selection. Now select the subject layer, add a hue saturation. Restrict this only to the subject layer. Check the colorize. Hue 215, saturation 30, and lightness 0. Go back to the background layer again. Now we are going to match the background ambient color to the subject. Add a solid color with the color code. 7A, B3, E, F. Change the blending mode to soft light and fill 85%. Then add a color lookup. Select night from day and change the fill amount to 20%. Add a levels adjustment layer and set the highlight output level to 172. Group all layers below the subject layer and name the group as Background. Open the Background group, right-click the Color Fill layer, and select Blending Options. Split the gauge of the shadows at the underlying layer by pressing and holding the Alt key while sliding the slider to around 150. Click OK. Then click its mask. Activate a soft round brush with Flow 50%. and brush around the shadows of the background. Now go to the Levels Mask. Activate the Gradient tool and apply it to the mask starting from the bottom. Now duplicate the subject layer by pressing and holding the Alt key while dragging it to the very top of the layers panel. Deactivate the subject copy for a while. Go to the subject layer. Add an inner glow with screen blend mode, opacity 40%, with color 9, 2 DCF, F, and size 50. Then add an outer glow with blend mode screen, opacity 20, color 8, 0 D7, F, F, size 100, and click OK. Now, activate the subject copy, change the blend mode to screen. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery. Enter Artistic Group, select Plastic Wrap, with settings 20, 15, 7, and click OK. Then go to Filter again. Filter Gallery. Under the Distort category, select Glass, with settings 10, 7, Frosted, and 100. Click OK. Add a mask to the subject copy. Make sure the foreground color is black. Activate the soft round brush. With the flow 50%, press the square bracket key to minimize the brush size and brush around unwanted areas. Now add an invert adjustment layer. Clip it to the subject copy. Add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Colorize. And change the settings to 212, 30, and 0. Clip it to the subject copy. Now select the background group and click this icon to add a new layer above it. 
change its name to iStream. Activate the brush tool, and now use either a fog or a smoke brush. Low 50%. Use the left or right arrow to rotate the brush, and use the square bracket keys to resize the brush and brush around the edges of the subject. Change the opacity to 50%. And it's done! Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more.